Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and today in this epic universe update we have the finer details starting to appear including portal finishes, yes, how to train your dragon, the dark universe, and the wizarding world of Harry Potter all have their portals topped off so that's pretty awesome and we're going to take a deep dive into that and much more in this update. Let's go. Uh, uh, Bio Reconstruct shot this update again after another pretty heavy rainstorm it was almost like tropical storm like. So this update is going to, again, show us what some of those water features may look like when they're filled with water. Again, these are not permanently filled with water, but specific, specifically in the How to Train Your Dragon area. Yeah, that bay is filled with water and it feels quite nice and it looks pretty awesome. Here's just some overview shots of the entire area. A lot of buildings, a lot of buildings in the hub um, starting to, or Celestial Park starting to sprout as well. Tons of restaurants and shops, and the two attractions are getting their finishes and getting worked on too. And the hotel is getting Twoof Tar Bar installed, and we're gonna get into that a little bit later. But here's just a nice overview of the whole site and just to show you how massive it is, um, and just how quick it's coming together. We're starting off today's journey in the dark universe, in the dark universe area, specifically the curse of the Werewolf Roller Coaster. This roller coaster is seeing more landscaping happening where the eventual queue will be. And there's a tree that actually has been knocked down due to the storm that went by. So that's unfortunate, but they are little young trees. They just got installed. So that'll be fixed. But yeah, nice little, again, kind of be a flight of the hippogriff setup where you're outside surrounded by kind of trees with the coaster going around you. Moving on to the kind of a back way uh, uh, overview shot see the two show scenes here the barn is looking now like a barn the barn's roofs looking now like a barn and the final break run uh, has that second show scene and that is pretty much covered as well work on the windmill restaurant is moving quite nicely in fact you can see the windmill has finally been installed under all that scaffolding i wouldn't be surprised if before the new year that some of that scaffolding or all of it begins to make a descend descent as the theming of this uh, restaurant looks absolutely superb and just about done over at the dark or the manor you can see the extended queue getting some work still uh, most of it's gonna be outdoors and exterior so there might be some courtyards and maybe a fountain a potential fountain in the middle there where that circle is now it's getting some more work but the rest of it is just kind of doing some more grading and preparing for those eventual foot baths. Darkmoor Village continues to um, be looking quite nice. A lot of scaffolding surrounding the facades, but the buildings themselves have been complete for a while, and the roofs are getting their final finishes. Um, they had still have that blue on them, but they're starting to get their final finishes, and into the new year, they should be getting that. Now, let's take a zoom into the portal because you see the port the beautiful looking portal is just about done, but every portal is going to be topped off with a unique element. And here we have that electrical, gr electrical grid right here, and here's a closer look at that. And this is one of three portals that have been top uh, topped off so far. We're just waiting on Super Nintendo World's fourth one to be topped off with warp pipes. But yeah, this uh, looks great, and I hope at nighttime there's some light like lighting effect here to like some electrical effect i think there will be but that'll be just incredible and here's just a, an even closer shot at that tipping off that topping off point there i want to take a quick look at the engines because uh yeah some buildings are continuing to finish up here but i just want to look at those beautiful cascading waterfalls there that are not turned on yet and those didn't get uh, flooded by the rains but you can see the shape of how it'll like be like a wonderful beautiful stream and i think that'll just be so gorgeous and relaxing again putting the theme park at uh, the park back in theme park it just seems so relaxing to do that and i can't wait to see that in action i might just be chilling there after a few rides in the park just to get some like zen like grizzly river run at dca you have that zen there here's the entrance portal i'm very excited to see what this one looks like not sure this one i'm not sure if this is gonna have like topping off like the um other portals to each land this one just might be one of those big awesome universe uh, epic universe portals that we've seen but nevertheless it'd be cool to enter and exit through a portal portal in a way to a whole bunch of different worlds here's a wide shot of the entrance i don't like this one because it just shows how symmetrical the whole thing is it's uh, it looks it's very beautiful from the helicopter here 
and i'm curious if those slanted roofs will be solar panels or not i don't think they will be but they kind of look like a solar panel setup um but I, I don't see it. I don't think it, that will be, but it's just got some, something to note there. Last week, we fin uh, focused a lot on the Stella Nova and Terra Luna Hotel. So now let's take a moment to really deep dive into a uh, deep dive into the Grand Helios Hotel. And here's the rooftop bar that is finally under construction, which will be quite nice. It's be a beautiful fireworks viewing area for the general public as well as uh, hotel guests as well. I'm sure you can rent. There'll be a space, I'm sure, to rent for private events and you know, weddings and stuff um, because this will be just gorgeous. And here's a different shot of that rooftop bar under construction, that, that circle there, and as well as the, the, the general rooftop. It's got a nice tiered rooftop as well there. You can even see the elevator shafts encasing that wood wood forms right there rising up on each side of the tower which is pretty interesting as well and here's just a wide shot of the tower and more of that facade work uh, at that siding popping up and rising up to the, each of the 10 levels down by the pool there's a similar circular structure which we expect to be a pool bar and then that area that's currently flooded will be the pool itself the pool itself is not dug up yet but that dirt areas will be seeing a nice pool shape in the coming days and months and now we're gonna head over to the wizarding world of harry potter looking at the wizarding world of harry potter again a lot of uh again a lot of stuff in the sands going on on the inside but we're gonna take a look quick look at the continuing facade work but i'm really gonna focus on the portal here and the awesome golden statue hand with a wand that has been topped off here i think that is so cool it's like subtle but really cool so let's take a, a deeper dive into that really quick look at that look at that wand that is so nice um again each of these lands will have their own themed portals and we'll get to how to train your dragons later but yeah this is cool i mean the golden have really evokes paris in my opinion having been there myself the whole city is kind of golden, especially historical and golden like that. And of course, um, it's Wizarding World, so they have a nice wand there. The question is, whose hand is that? Is that a specific, someone's specific hand? Is that um, Dum Dumbledore's hand? Is that Voldemort's hand? Is that the Fantastic Beast characters? I'm not really good with those characters' names, but um, the villain? Is that uh, Maz Nicholson? I know that's who he played. Is that his hand? Who knows? Or is it Scalamet or Newt's hand? Or is it just a random hand? But, um, speculation, right? But I just think this is absolutely gorgeous and uh, super cool. I really I really like this subtleness and I just really like this this little top it off theme here. And let's just take a quick look into the land itself. Again, here's the major intersection of streets and just a lot of scaffolding. Um, a lot of detail work still going on on the facade work. And yeah, they're just slowly but surely coming down to reveal uh, each level of beautiful facade work and it looks great. You can see even some more in the small interior courtyard where I believe a couple restaurants and shops will be. Uh, they've uncovered that portion as well recently, so that's pretty awesome. But now over to the Isle of Burke. Let's take a look at the boat ride, the splash battle boat ride here, believed to, call, believed to be called, according to rumors, Fire Drill. Um, and you can see some of the roof of the station, that wood roof is starting to be installed. Um, just in time because the rest of it looks like it got soaked by the recent rains but more and more theming starting to pop up and rock, rock work and it's starting to look like a pretty awesome family attraction i will certainly be riding that and i believe it'll be very interactive between not just boat to boat but people to boat like you can get you can soak people uh soak riders from the land as well and they can potentially soak you uh, if it's like the splash battle attraction so that'd be quite nice Meat Hall looks more and more like Splash Mountain every day, but that's only because of it's in the steel mesh structure phase, but it does kind of have that upward force perspective <laughs> Splash Mountain tree stump look. And it's funny, <laughs> Disney Park just removed the tree stump from their Splash Mountain for Tiana, Tiana's Bayou Adventure, and now Epic Universe is getting its own Splash Mountain type street tree stump. But this is for Meat Hall, so let's not call it Splash Mountain. I'm sure it'll look completely different as well. but initially it just looks like that which is hilarious but this looks great it also looks very very big i mean look at it. it's like almost twice the size of the structure itself like the restaurant itself the restaurant looks like maybe it could be about two stories in height i mean the restaurant itself is one story but the height is about the height of like a two-story building 
this looks like the height of like a four to five story building which is pretty incredible uh, looking at it from the bottom you can see the, that cherry picker down there it's very small uh it's gonna look massive so i can't wait to see this in person and just can't wait to see it done because it will look quite imposing so that's pretty awesome Here's a preview of what the bay will look like with water in it. This is all rainwater from that recent storm, but looks pretty nice, right? Obviously, the rainwater is dirty, but, you know, when it comes with beautiful clear water, it'll be a nice welcoming welcoming uh, environment, especially with the coaster track going over. That looks just beautiful. And when you're riding the coaster, it'll be like skimming the water. It'll be just so cool. And you can even see, as we take a close look here, you think I'm looking at the pedestrian bridge? No. Yeah, that's a golden dragon on top of the portal there. So that's pretty awesome. I think that's Toothless right there. And Toothless looks mighty fine in gold. I mean, look at that. Here's a, another look. And here's the full completed portal right here with that full um, entrance statement. And metal plates surrounding it. Golden plates surrounding it. And then there is some... Uh, gold, a golden tooth is above it. Plus, there looks like see some rock work. Those white things that I keep talking about, I, they seem to be supports. I was right for something. Looks like some mesh is starting to form, at least on the right side, for potential rock work. So, hopefully, there'll be some rock work surrounding this whole portal leading up to the top uh, where tooth is. And hopefully, each of these things will have some lighting effects at nighttime and some like special effects because that would really uh, make it even that much more immersive. And Here's another closer shot of that golden toothless and look at him whipping his tail. Just absolutely stunning. But let's go check over at Mario and what Mario and friends are doing at Super Nintendo World. Looking at Super Nintendo World, the entrance portal hasn't been topped off yet. Well, it kind of has, but it hasn't been painted. The pipes are there, but they just haven't been painted. But the other uh, walls have been painted. They're primer green or the go away green color. And then you should... Uh, you see the spots for the hills or the mushroom hills those will be filled in pretty soon moving into the land itself uh, to Yoshi's adventure you can see a couple of Yoshi's vehicles were uncovered they're still wrapped in plastic but they're uncovered from the black uh, so that gives you an idea of what they look like I mean you can see what they look like in Japan but um, now they're starting to be unwrapped here so maybe some ride testing will happen soon if it hasn't been happening already over at Donkey Kong Country you can see a lot of the scaffolding is up for that show building section and there's been more and more ride testing at the japan version which looks absolutely stunning i cannot wait and i just can't, and now that we know how it actually was kind of fast so i'm very excited for that as well uh can't wait for the epic universe but that's when at least let's take a look at starfall racer you can see the big centerpiece element is has lots of scaffolding on it's still being worked on this will be most likely a big comet and the comet trail will be going and in, going into the station according to alicia stella so that'd be pretty cool to see there's even a retaining wall uh, type structure of steel being built right where the pathway is right where the coaster will be swerving or turning right next to you hopefully there'll be like uh, that'll be a see-through element so you can see and feel that kinetic energy as it comes through but if not the, the wall's not too big, so you'll be, uh, it's not like it won't block the views or anything. Here's a look at that entrance. They're almost done with that entrance pavement. Looks pretty cool. Looks like a comet or like a spacey comet. And I'll have that, again, that wide entrance for Express, Standby and Regular, or Standby and Single Rider, presumably, going into the station with the beautiful Starfall Racers coasters dueling right over you. And... That's going to do it for this week's Epic Universe update. Much more progress each and every week, even with a major rainstorm. What do you guys think about all this progress? And what do you guys think about these portals? The beautiful designs of Toothless, the wand, and the Dark Universe uh, topper. Of course, the pipe war pipes that are coming soon for Super Nintendo World. Let me know what you guys think about all that in the comments below. And as always, have an epic day.